Hey guys. Um, so today we uh, covered some uh, review stuff on uh, identities and proofs. And I did actually miss uh, one of the things I was supposed to cover with you guys, which was uh, using double angle identities to simplify statements. So I'm going to do a quick little video on this. And um, but before you do that, maybe check on the website. You should see uh, this posted now. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but it co covers most of the identities that we talked about and all the ones that you'll need to know for your test. So this sheet's what you're going to get on your test on um, Wednesday for the block A group and then, um, uh, sorry, sorry, Wednesday for I think one of the one of the color groups and then the other ones on Thursday. So, so anyways, this is the sheet you'll use uh, for your test. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go over um, a few uh, questions um, dealing with um, sorry, dealing with our uh, double angle identities questions here. So I'm going to um, turn my, my picture off here. Otherwise, you're going to be staring at my forehead. It's a, it's a huge forehead. Um, so uh, let's turn that off. There we go. Okay. So um, let's write down our first question. And we're going to simplify this once again using um, identities here. So hopefully I can do that. Um, right here. So simplify. Ooh, nice red. Uh, simplify uh, 12 sine 4x close 4x. Now this, this question would probably be uh, in sort of like the multiple choice section where you'd be looking at various stems and trying to figure out which one matches it. And uh, so if you look at your formula sheet, what you want to look for is um, uh, a formula where you have this sort of sine co side by side. And you can kind of see that in the addition identity um, for uh, sine A plus B and sine A minus B. But notice in that formula, there's only one, there's just two terms, like there's sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Um, and so this one's just a single statement here. So there must be something else on the table that kind of looks like that. And if you sort of scooch on your way down the bottom, uh, you're gonna find um, two sine A cos A, and that's equal to the double angle identity for sine to it. So that's the one we're working with here. But you can notice the, the writing in purple is not quite that way. It looks a little bit different to me. Um, so I'm going to write a let statement here. I'm going to say let A equal 4x. Okay. So wherever I see 4x, I'm just going to write A here. So it's going to be sine A cos A. So that's, that's that taken care of. Um, now the problem is there's also this 2 in front. You see this 2 here. And I've got a 12 in front here. So I'm going to make a two appear in front of that. So it looks exactly like the identity. But what number times two is 12? Well, that would be six. So it's really six multiplied by this thing in the brackets here. That would be the same thing as uh, 12 sine a cos a, which would be the same as 12 sine 4x cos 4x. OK, so what do I do with this thing in the brackets then? Well, uh, sine uh, 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. So I could still write this as 6 being multiplied by the sine of 2a. Now a was 4x though. So this would be 6 multiplied by sine. And this would be 2 times 4x. That's 8x. So that would be 8x then. So the statement here can be written as a sim single trig term uh, by using the, the double angle identity for um, sine. So I'm gonna give you two more questions and then I'd ask you to maybe to pause the video and see if you can solve them on your own. And if you, if you can, uh, great, uh, maybe check afterwards, but if you can't, then, then obviously um, watch the rest of the video here. So let's take four minus eight cos squared uh, 6x. That's one question, so example. And the second question um, we're going to say is uh, 4 tan um, 3x all over 1 minus tan uh, squared 3x. So once again, pause the video here and see if you uh, can simplify these by using the double angle identities on the formula sheet. Okay, so take a second to do that. I'll just stop for, I'll pretend like I'm stopping. Press pause.
Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, here we go. So we're taking a look at uh, the first uh, identity here. And if you look on the formula sheet, this looks really close uh, to, or close enough, I think, to sine, uh, I'm sorry, to cos 2a. So this is, this looks a lot like cos uh, 2a. Now cos 2a, you'll notice has three separate identities. So you don't need to memorize them, you gotta recognize them. And so this looks a lot like the one that starts off um, one, uh, I'm sorry, starts off as, uh, where are we here? The one with cos in it. Um, so we have uh, two uh, cos squared a, right? Minus one. So see if you can find that on your formula sheet. So it looks pretty similar to that. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to arrange it because right now it's the, 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 it's, it's a number minus the cos term. So I'm going to flip it and I'm going to factor out um, a negative four. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So I'm going to factor out the negative four. Okay, and now um, we've got brackets here. That would be two cos squared six x um, minus one. So factoring out the negative here. And once again, I, I, you don't have to write a let statement, but you could say let, uh, let's say let uh, b equal um, 6x, okay? So wherever I see 6x, I'm gonna write a b here. So this would be negative four, um, two cos b minus one. Now uh, b here uh, would be negative four, now, two cos, let's see a square there. Two cos squared b minus one is equal to cos two b. And what was b? Well, b was six x. So negative four cosine of two times six is 12 x then, okay? Okay, so let's try the next one here. Let's see what we think about this next one here. Okay, so this identity looks uh, like it's got something to do with tans, I'm thinking. Uh, so if we go down to our double angle identity for uh, tan, um, we see that that is, let me just change my color here, um, the tan of 2a is equal to, and that is going to be, um, tan of 2a, sorry, is 2 tan of angle a all over one minus tan squared of A. So you can see that this part here looks a lot like that part over there, except for, you know, admittedly there's like this, uh, uh, there's a four here, um, there's uh, uh, a three X instead of an A here. So why not write a little let statement, say let A equal three X, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this then as um, uh, let's, let's factor a two out of the top part too. So two multiplied by two tan of a. That's all over one minus tan squared of a. So if you notice this part, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight this part here. So let's let's look at this part right here. So that part I'm highlighting in yellow is really identical to that. Like that's exactly the same thing, right? So why not keep the two out? Let's keep the two out for now. So say two, multiplied by what that is. That's two times the tan of two A. So that's two multiplied by tan of two times A. A is three X, so two tan of three times two is six X. Okay, so this statement on this side and this statement on this side are simplified statement statements, as is the one up here. Um, and those are uh, simplified statements using double angle um, identities. So I might do another little video in a second here, but just gonna see if this one uploads properly for me. Um, and so if you wanna practice this, this would be page um, 340, uh, question numbers uh, one to, or number one, sorry. Uh, and letters A, I think if you can go A to A to K, you're, you're pretty good uh, with that. Okay, so it's going to stop that and hopefully record it.